We usually say, Donna, what's going on here today? We are going to be cooking up a new recipe. All right. We're, we're featuring Where is it? It's right here. Couscous this month, we're going to be cooking this up with Ras Al Hunout. That's our Moroccan spice blend that we're featuring this month. Really? Yes. You have this all in the store, right? Absolutely. The Ras Al, Ras Al Hunout is in the bulk section. You can buy it already made up. Of course, if you like one thing or another, you can get a little information about the Ras Al Hunout oh, here. Yeah. Take a little card home with the ingredients. You could kind of make your own according to your own taste. Never heard of it before, but let's let's it's do it. It's Morocco. probably cool. It's one of those Middle Eastern spices. All right. So we're going to we have regular couscous, French right. couscous. You can use whole wheat couscous or. Um, now what is it like a? Um, sort like, of a pasta. Yeah, I was going to say it's a pasta. It's, right? made, yeah, it's okay. made with wheat. Yeah. But we we're going to use olive oil. All we right. are we try to stay vegetarian when possible when we're doing right. our our um, demos so we're going to use the We've used no that chicken before, broth i think yeah we have you're right okay you remember we're going to use some blanched almonds from the mm, bulk department yeah, like for on top right. we have got lots of fresh veggies here from the produce department we've got um a fennel fruit that we're going to be using a fennel bowl we've got a couple of organic cucumbers i've got an organic shallot a carrot a couple oranges we have a garlic. What is that thing you first touched? It looks like scallions. It's a oh, no, fennel it's different. Ball. Yeah, all right. It's I a see. fennel ball. All right. It's got a little okay. bit different Sorry. taste. All right. Okay. And we've got some organic mint that we're going to use and some fresh cilantro. Then, right. of course, with the spices, we have the Ras El Hanout. Oh, well, that's here. it right here, right? That's it right there. Right. If you want to, um, here, let me give you a little teeny bit in the cup so you can smell right. it and kind of put it on your tongue right. and taste it. Here Wet your finger and try it. There we that. go. Let's see what happens. Careful. Careful, careful. Hmm. What do you think? I'm not getting it all, but Wait, no, now I got it. Okay, it's got good, it? yeah. It's got a nice mix. It's a, it's a really nice mix. The Raza Hanout. Mm, very good. Is generally, it's turmeric, fenugreek, mm. mace, cinnamon, black pepper, clove, paprika, and cumin. So, but depending on where you're going in the Middle did you East, make this or how did this come about here? No, we buy it in bulk already. Made it's it. good. Yeah, All right. so you can get it. You don't have to make it yourself. We've got it. So basically, the main ingredients are your couscous and right. the ras al hanout, and then we're going to add some more stuff to it. All right. Okay, so this is going to be yummy. All right, we're going to start by <laughs> turning on our pan. It, that has a nice flavor. It's still in my mouth. It's very good. This is that you it'll be nicer as a topping for all of this. Mm. We're gonna start with a couple of tablespoons of olive oil. All right. In my pan. I like the way you don't measure. That's cool. Because I'm just like that. Go ahead. Something I, about my mother. Uh, all right. Something well. about my mother. Well, anyway. Hey, where's your mother? She's in New Oh, Jersey. here she is. All right. all right. Well. Okay. She's watching today. All right. We're because gonna take our garlic to begin with. And we're going to open it up. You can, you can. Oh take yeah, a look at that. Okay. And I we've love used garlic. garlic before too, right? My garlic usually isn't that easy to open. Well, these are really nice and fresh. So we're going to open this up, and we're going to take two bulbs. All right. Right. And we're going to chop them up. So if you want to take a break while we're chopping, and remember, one of the tricks on garlic is from the bottom. Go to the flat side, cut that piece off. You have to cut that end off, And right? you can just peel it right off in there. Right. Peels it off. Why do you have to cut that end off? These? Like... Because it's like um, the root section. Ah, all right. It's tough. So I'm going to get all that skin off so of it. So you peel it off. All right. And I'm going to do a second one. All right, I'm going to stop. Okay. The next thing you're going to cut up maybe and put in that oil is a shallot. A shallot. Now, what is a shallot? It's a kind of a... It's um, a type of an onion. Yeah, but it it grows like near trees or something or what? what's the story with it? That I don't know. But it's a little bit denser than a regular it's onion. It's very mild, isn't it? And a little bit different taste. Yeah. So we're just going to peel that. All right. And then I'm going to chop it up. Okay? Right. So you can come back to me when it's all chopped. I'm going to stop and when you cut it up and throw it in there, I'll yep. start again. Yeah, we're going to add the garlic. 
chopped shallots. This is chopped, chopped shallot. shallot, and I'm crying. You're making me cry. All right. It's strong. Oh, it must be good stuff. So we're gonna throw it in there with the garlic. All right. And I'll just eat it right out of the pan. Yeah. Sorry. Sure you will. Sounds good. All right. So I'm gonna send you an email, and you yes. got stuff coming up early in I the do. month that may July. be interesting. Yep, we've got. Because um, sometimes I get the. I get the the flyer like the second day of the month, so I may miss something. So I'm going to email you because okay. there may be something worthwhile to videotape. Okay. All right. All right. So I'm going to stop. Ras al Hanut. Ras al Hanut. Ras al Hanut. Ras al Hanut. That's it. I have no idea what this is, but it's sure t I had a taste, but it's good. So John's here, and he hey, always Jerry. shows up at the right time. How you doing? I'm great. How are you? All right. So we're here doing Donna, and you now she's doing the carrot. I'm ready to eat right out of the pan. So anyhow, don't get her on. Don't oh do yeah, it. I, don't won't, do I won't. I won't. I won't. You can't. You don't know. I know. I know. Right. I'm in the witness protection program. <laughs> an alternative to rice it's really great well it's a kind of a um, not a macaroni or maybe it yeah I mean I think it's similar to macaroni it's just smaller and yeah I, think I you love could, that right? yeah. could make, it's more of a weedy instead of you know gluten-free rice it's uh, it's got Make wheat myself? so if you like wheat oh, yeah. then no, I have, you're I have in and I think it's pretty popular in Europe and in the Middle East so yeah pairing it with that Ras Al Hanout is a really nice uh, marriage when my kids were little we had it was called pastina Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, yeah, it was similar to this. I mean, I and they make, make it. Soup or my wife would make it for my kids, and I'd end up eating all of it because it was so good. Anyhow, all right. we, we added we, the carrots. Added up the carrots. You could cube it. The recipe calls for cube. We're gonna do shredded because it's bad for the cook while we're demoing. Yeah. All right. Okay. So what's like next here? You got something in your hand. Isn't that pretty I do. Alright. I do. This is a um, a fennel bulb. Alright. And we're gonna chop it up. Alright, I never okay. saw that before. Go ahead. You ever tasted fennel before? I've had fennel spices in fennel like sausage like, and stuff, you know. Looks like celery. Yeah, I don't know. But it's not. The white cake. Here. You can throw this if you right, try I'm this. I'm going to take it and put it in my mouth. Here we go. Was it fennel? No thanks. Oh, yeah. I know that taste. Yep. It's, it's got good. a little bit of a licorice Yeah. yeah. They put it in Italian sausage. You're right. They do. Don't yes. they put it in Italian yeah. sausage? Oh, you yes. know that? You're from Chicago. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. Well. Okay, so we're going to chop this sucker up. So how do you know what you're doing here? I mean... I'm following I mean, a new recipe. I understand that, but how do you know to cut it this way and not the other way? Never mind. My mouth is full. Go ahead. Never continue. Mind. Do you like licorice? Mm, good. So I'm just going to cut this up. I'm going to chop it. All right. I'm going to stop. Okay. I'm going to chop this by hand, but We're it may be too go. much, so... You brought this machine out that you got machine. where? You no. got it at Experience Goods, yes, probably. Yes, I did. My really? favorite store. You and I met there one day, and you found so much barbecue tools for me that... You know what? I have something in my car. I'll have to, Next time I see you, I'll give it to you. Look at that. Vegematic. Vegematic. It's like those spirally things we did. That's right. I'm going to take that out again soon. Let's add that to... What's your so when you get all this stuff cooked down, what are you going to do with it? We're going to use, we're going to put add our couscous and it's all going to blend together. In, right in the that pan? Don't yeah, you have to cook it in water or anything? We're going to use the broth. Oh, that's right. All right. It's all going to absorb. Right. All those flavors are going to go absorb. So you put the broth in and then you put the couscous. Yep, we'll, we'll do that as soon as this, the God, rest of these guys are ready. I'm getting so smart. Here you go. <laughs> All right. What are you having for dinner tonight, Jerry? Who is? We're gonna put couscous in here. All right. We're gonna add our couscous. That's this like is a... all. This is all sauteing down, getting soft. All right. 
Right? Smell it? And you come over. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. You and know, I can smell do, the garlic. Well, it's still got a little bit of oil going in there. We're going to add our couscous and toast it before we add anything else. All right. How are you going to do that? All right. On this one, we are going to use a cup of the couscous from the bulk department. It's a cup. All right. Okay. That's the same thing that's in this. Yes container over here. So I'm just right. going to sprinkle it in here. Yeah. Oh. You just throw it in there. And I just got this sit for a couple minutes and then we'll push it around and toast it and we'll see what it looks like when it's all toasted up. All right. As as it and then later you're going to put the um, We're going to add more. The chicken broth. Yes, or? yes. Well, we're using like I said the no chicken broth, but oh, it's going to no have chicken a chicken right. taste. I don't have my glasses on. That's so. all right. We're going to let that go for a couple of minutes. All right. I'm going to stop. What is that? Fresh cilantro. All right. Now you don't. Know, lots of times they use dried stuff. We just we happen to have fresh cilantro, so I'm using it. Okay. All right. So the fresh cilantro is a third of a cup. You can use dried. It's just a little bit different measurement. Yeah. So you can get to dry in the bowl section anytime. So I'm going to chop that up. Like this. I'm going to stir this a little bit. I'm toasting it. It's toasting up. I can see the color you can change. Smell. Yeah. 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 Color. Whoa. You start really smelling it? No, I gotta come over there. Mm -hmm. okay, I'm gonna try this. Oh, yeah. Does your, oh, yeah, that's does your film pick up smell? Well, not yet, but it has to. If I feel there's a good smell, I will talk about it. And then. Okay, so I'm gonna put my cilantro to the side for just now. Right, wait. Available here. So we got fennel, like, and now you opened up a package with mint. Yeah, try that. Well, let me just smell. Oh yeah. Put that oh, yeah, in your, yeah, yeah, put yeah. that in your tea. Mmm. Huh? Nice. So we do about a third of mm. a cup of fresh mint. That's strong. You gotta eat that before you go on a date. Yeah. <laughs> it's great. You just put it in your tea and let it sit. Yeah, maybe. I've heard of that. Well, I like that when it's all toasting up. Yeah. Well, nice and toasty brown, light, light color, before I go to the next step. All right. It smells great. That was just over there. It definitely does. I've got my mint. So this is the mint, right? Yep. When I was little, my mother used to make pitchers of iced tea, but they just, she let it sit, you know, this was years ago, before anybody did this. She put the tea bags in this big pitcher and put it out in the sun. Oh, the sun tea, yeah. Yeah, and it would, it would turn into tea. And then she put some mint in it, and nobody ever did mint. Except my mom and like people would come over and go, hmm, your tea is so good. Anyhow, let me stop. This is a cucumber. Yeah, because you. It's an organic it, cucumber. It doesn't have any of that wax coating. All right. Or anything. It's a so nice. What are you gonna do with this? We are making couscous with ras al It smells it's good. It's a Moroccan spice. So come, come. We're wa watch it, make it, and we'll be offering it up for taste testing in about 15 minutes. Oh, fancy. Okay. Yes. All right. Well, okay. Back around, just so I'm going to come back, come back and taste it. All right. So. I'm just going to cut these cucumbers. Yeah. In halves, and then I'm going to um, cube it down a little bit, or to put it in there so it's uh, something you can get into your. You leave fork. the skin on. I'm leaving the skin on because yeah, there's nothing that's wrong cool. with the skin. I like that. Look at those beautiful things. Yeah, I love cucumbers. When I cut these cucumbers. Dick can smell it in the other room. He knows you could eat one of those organic cucumbers. You would smell that? Oh, yeah. Oh. It oh right. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a real cucumber smell. So I'm just gonna get these cut up while I'm waiting for these guys. And you're gonna put them in there? We are going to eventually add it, yes. Right. But I'm you're gonna, gonna cube them, it. is that what you said? Yep. All right. So you want this is gonna give you a little bit of crunch. 
a little bit of snack, something to bite into. All right, I'm going to stop while you're doing that. All right, so we're, we, we toasted up the couscous, right? In with and the, everything else. In with the fennel, bulb, right. and the carrot, and the garlic. So now we're going to add a broth. Whoa, look at it go. There it comes. That'll bring a lot of people over here. There we go. Smell that now. All right, I'm going to reach over and get So what I'm going to do yeah. is I'm going to let that cook up a little bit. How's that smell, boy? It's, it it's smells nice, good. Fresh smell. Now so, at this point, we're going to let that go. What are we going to do with this? Like, are we going to like put it in? Is it like? We're going by the time we add it up, it'll all be like um, like it's, it's like a couscous salad. A little right. thicker in there, right? It'll be thicker. So we're going to let that cook for just a little bit. <coughs> right. Okay. And now we're going. Then we're going to add our mint and cilantro. Oh yeah, you mix them together. Well, I chopped them up together. Yeah, all right. How pretty that is so far. Hmm. Okay. Let me cook that up together. Mix that in. And who's going to let this simmer thick. as I yeah, go along? Yeah, it's getting thick, yeah. It's... You're going to start smelling that mint yeah, now, yeah, yeah, mixing yeah. up with those spices, right? <laughs> now, we go to our Ras El Hamout. Right. And we are going to use two tablespoons. Yeah. Of the spice mix. <laughs> Add it to this last support. Yeah, you guys are smelling that. This is going to taste pretty the, good, I think. The amazing spices coming to smell. Coming to smell. <laughs> smell it? No. <laughs> oh, now I do. Ah, yeah. So I'm just going to mix that up. Look at that steam coming up. Now I might put this on, um, get some nice lettuce, some really leafy lettuce, yeah. make almost a bowl out of it, and then put this into it. Wow. That would be really good. That could be fun. That could be a fun thing to eat. All right, okay. I'm going to stop. We're doing something next. What are we doing here? The next thing we're doing is we're going to add this, the juice of two oranges. All right. I took the seeds out as well as I can see. All right. Yep. Well, I never minded seeds, but go now, ahead. we're going to add orange. Wow, look at that. Great. Wow, look at that. Look at all the juice that Organic comes out Organic oranges, like the lemons. Remember when I told you lemons look, yeah, is all juice? Yeah, I remember when we did the lemons. They're amazing. I can't believe all the juice that came out of it. That's amazing. They're gorgeous. Huh. Got that. Got this one. I have to do this juice of one more. That. A lot of juice. Definitely. You're making like a swimming pool in the middle of that. Yeah. Let me get the other one. All right, I'm going to stop while you're... Donna was just talking to a person out here. There's not just a person. That's Ruth. Oh, uh, it's not... It's, it, who is it? It's Ruth. It's Ruth. And, okay. So, She's Ruth. Like our yeah. school person. What do you do here, Ruth? I, mean, I work everything. in the shareholder services department. Really? Yes, I do. And is that an important job or is it like... It's very important. So I sign up new members. So I really? sign up our owners. If you want to become an owner of the co-op, yeah. come to shareholder services. Really? Yeah. Well, you're a very nice person. I don't know if I want to sign up, but I think that <laughs> you're kind of cool. And so why did you come over here today? You, you're, you're at this spot with Donna. So the shareholder services department is also under the umbrella of the marketing department. Yeah. So this I is do the a marketing lot of the Facebook of... posts All right. and emailing things. So I'm just taking pictures of Donna and her demo and then I'll share it with our digital audience. All right. You well, can tell them to go to Jerry's site and they can see the whole video exactly. to how to make it. Well, if you give me your email, I'll send you the link when this is I'll done. I'll tell you what, when I shoot the, you back the dates, I'll see you soon. All right, all right, all right. All right, so then you'll get it and you'll you'll look at yourself on camera and go, God, is that me? All right, anyhow, I'm just kidding. I'm going to stop taping now, all right? Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. funny because I can't. She just got her hair cut. 
you no, who you are look, watching this video you're, can't you're see a handsome this, person. but what I'm looking at is just a person holding up a black rectangle. I can't yeah, I know. see your face. I know. So it's hard being interviewed by like someone behind a mysterious Well, it's story. interesting for you to say that because most people don't they 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 don't realize it's a camera and it's extremely the sound is good the picture's good yeah. it's a, and it's good enough to put on tv so yeah. but for you to make that comment is really good because it's exactly true it's just a black thing you're looking at and how who how can you all right all right okay. i'm going to stop while you're laughing before okay. you get mad at me right okay Ruth. You'll see it. Great. Okay. We're talking, and while we were talking, you put the cucumbers in there. I snuck it in there when you were Yeah, we it. missed that. But we can see them now. So we got all this is all mixed together. It's all nice and warm. The cucumbers were the last thing I added to keep them crunchy. Yeah. So what's going to happen now? We are going to serve it. We're going to eat. You got this you big ready to eat? serving platter. Are you kidding? So we're going to put some blanched almonds on top of oh, yeah, you it serve when it. you serve it. I did, thank you. So it is really twisted. Hold on a second. Again, blanched almonds can be bought in the bulk department. They're in the refrigerated case. They're wonderful. When, they, when you blanch them, what do you do when you you take an almond, you cut they're it up? They're slivered. Yeah, I know. And you that. can also then toast these, but, but they're just slivered. They're slivered up in almonds. But once you cut into them and mm, the raw meat's exposed, cool. you want to make sure that they um, don't go bad. Mmm, that's sweet. Isn't that good? Mm. Okay, I'm going to get rid of this. And we're going to go to a spoon. Okay, you ready for this? You're going to put the almonds in or no? I'm, no, I'm going to put the almonds on top. Oh, on the end. Ah, top. that's cool. Let me get you some forky things. Actually, maybe I'll use the spoons. What do you think? Do that again when you put the camera up. That's cool. No, it's like you're looking for aliens or something. <laughs> I'm actually secretly a wait, wait. Ruth, our UFO Ruth? secrets. Alright, there right. must be aliens up here someplace. I'm going to take a look. She sees something I don't. Anyhow. Alright. Well, I'll tell you, you guys can focus, huh? I know, look at us. Right on. It was lovely having you here today. Thank you for stopping. You want to try some couscous? Oh, it's good stuff. Good stuff. Everything you make is good. Oh, and this is no you. exception. It's just a recipe. Everybody can do it. Real easy. And 20 minutes into it, start to finish, you're All ready right. for, you know, dinner. What I was suggesting is you might want to take something like a, a roast chicken or um, another meat that you like. And just throw it in there, a little pork. Oh yeah. Right up, okay, good there. idea. Make it a whole meal. I could do that. Yeah, and just that's right. Make it a whole meal. meal. That's a good. That's nice. a, those are good words. I like. But that. for somebody who's vegetarian, maybe some seitan. All right. Or you know, get some beef or. Yeah, I love it when there's some... meat in it. Yeah, and I can kind of picture the taste if there's meat in it. Yeah. You know. Little cubes of steak. They were grilled. How's that? Well. Well, I grill every night, you know that. So I'll say there, there's no better way to cook. I'm going to have a little grilling party, and I'm going to invite you. I hope so. I'll bring stuff. No, I'm, I'll do the meat and all the stuff on the grill. All you have to do is bring a a chair and a drink. But I cook. You have to let me bring something that's food. Well, you know what? You're you're the cook, so. Ras al hamut on couscous. The recipe's here for you to take home with you. And what Try is it? Ras al Hamoud is a Moroccan spice blend. There's oh. a little card you can take to us a little bit more about right. it. We sell it in the bulk section. That's the whole dish. That's delicious. Isn't that wonderful? Is it's it got good? Organic cucumbers in it. Is it good? You're on TV. I don't like being on TV, thank you very much. All right, I'll <laughs> for stop. asking my Nobody permission. likes it. No. Looking down here at the serving plate. So, you got all your food done here. Uh, just give me a brief thing. What What's on this serving plate that you made today? This is ras al hamout on top of on top of toasted couscous, and we've got onions, not onions, scallions, garlic, carrots, fennel, mint, and cilantro. 
and it's all cooked up in a chicken broth or a no chicken broth if you're vegetarian <laughs> yeah. and fresh wonderful crunchy snappy organic cucumbers they were great they are awesome and then we top it off with some blanched almonds it's so beautiful and i've had a couple of these and they're really good as hey, usual think, as usual all right when i have Thank my little coming. party for the barbecue i'm gonna I'll call you a, a few days ahead of time and we'll see what we can cook up i'll make you some co really good coleslaw really homemade dressing with the uh, gorgeous gorgeous cabbage that we have up in really yes. i love homemade coleslaw that's mm. what coleslaw was good was it we'll have right. coleslaw all right, I'm going to say goodbye. Goodbye. All right, goodbye. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Bye-bye. See you next time. All right.